again with an interesting piece, the um, SZSC004, a Seiko Prospects Diver, a Sumo, um, also known as the Hulk, this is the second gen. Um, there is a new Hulk in, on the block, I guess you would say, the, the third gen with the Sapphire Crystal. This is the uh, the older version, second gen, Hardlex Crystal. Um, also known as the, uh, yeah, the Jade Sumo. Um, so it has a, a very striking green color, a sunburst style. Um, and basically the old Sumo design we have uh, compared to the, to the latest version, as mentioned, we have a hardlex instead of a sapphire. The bezel, aluminum insert bezel, has a very um, yeah, comic-like or uh, a much more prominent uh, printing of the of the form of the numbers uh, looks different than the current version. Current version is <coughs> um, yeah sleeker, maybe more modern in design. But this um, is really iconic in terms of the sumos. Um, I really like this this style. Um, yeah, it just uh, has maybe a little bit more character, and the new one is is more mainstream. Um, so this, um, this Sumo has a uh, 45mm diameter, <clears throat> it has a 13mm uh, 13 thickness, um, so um, all the dimensions are, oh god, the cat playing around again, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the, um, um, the design or the uh, dimensions are all more or less similar as the third gen, no, no changes there. We have um, the semi-submerged bezel, uh, which also is quite iconic in the Sumo, lovely um, bezel, which um, yeah, kind of dips into the case and uh, um, yeah, just has a nice, uh, nice overall design. The, the Sumo, what really um, makes this stick out or, or makes it special is this sleek design. It really hugs your wrist. Um, we have this, if you look at it from the side, this kind of banana banana uh, profile. Um, we have some really excellent polishing on the, um, yeah, on the flank, the upper flank. Then we have um, a separation by a hairline, a brushed hairline, and then the bottom again, beautifully polished, Zaratsu polishing, I would uh, almost call it, even though it's um, usually the Grand Seiko, um, well, that would be the Grand the Zaratsu polishing, not sure how they do it, maybe they have the, the apprentices doing this uh, for the lower, uh, lower tier watches, not sure, but it's always really excellent. Um, we have a 6R15 movement in here, an automatic movement with uh, 50 hours power reserve. Uh, the upgraded ones in the third gen have 70 hours. Um, yeah, uh, this is just a bread and butter um, movement. It's better than the 4R series, um, but um, um, yeah, just a, a mid tier. Um, movement in terms of the accuracy and so on, but reliable and in-house, so Seiko really fabricates everything from the movement to the case to everything. Uh, they have the competence, expertise in-house, so they do everything, which is one of the things we like about Seiko. Um, this watch I find like very striking. I don't know, every time I look at it, it's, uh, it really amazes me. This green color and then those yellow splashes, uh, the seconds hand and then the, uh, the, uh, on the chapter ring, the hour uh, markings on the chapter ring at the 12, three, six and nine o'clock position. Um, it really adds in a little bit of fun here and uh, just gives it this little, splash um, of color, not overbearing, not, not in your face, but it's a lovely little accent, I would say, 
um, which really makes this watch so much fun. Um, uh, we have a 120 click bezel, um, as, we, uh, as we know from Seiko, uh, other watches, typical kind of gasket drag. Um, feels good, feels in my eyes, I, I don't like all these clickety clack, two metallic um, sounding bezels. Now let me just shut up so you can hear it. Yep, so um, it is, you can basically have a slightly um, a louder click and an intermediate click. Um, so uh, very nice feel to it. Um, really like the uh, this uh, let's say Seiko sound and feel of the uh, of the bezel. Uh, screw down crown, of course, um, in this really uh, very thick knurling or yeah, almost milled out uh, kind of slots there. Uh, we have a sign crown, um, so that is also old school. Uh, I guess now the, uh, the Seiko philosophy is to um, reserve the sign crowns to the upper tier Seikos and the, uh, let's say the entry level, intermediate level, they do not have sign crowns. So we'll see whether that they can uh, persist or um, implement that, uh, but it really, it really uh, goes across all the watches anyway. That is what I read somewhere. Uh, we have a, uh, a date window at the three o'clock position, um, yeah, with a little white frame around it. Um, it gets the job done. Um, I also like the the white background, the white frame. It somehow fits in beautifully with um, the hour markers also, which uh, they are. Um, yeah, it's uh, of course Lumibrite proprietary. Um, loom of Seiko um, and um, these are they applied or not I'm not always really sure uh, sometimes um, they are pressed from the back I guess uh, so they are very nice uh, they have this kind of uh, yeah a, a kind of whitish uh, um, yeah, they're not really uh, uh, they're not really shiny. It's subdued. It's it's matte a bit, um, but it reminds me a little bit always of, of Mother of Pearl. Um, yeah, just uh, looks looks uh, very nice. And I guess the round hour markers with the round face at all, and the round um, bezel case and so on. It just gives it a very uh, harmonious look. So it's one of those things that tickles your eye or your, uh, it's like an eye massage when you look at it. Um, other than that, we have a, um, the stainless steel bracelet, nothing special. It's um, yeah, the, the threefold clasp, uh, double pusher, unfortunately not a milled clasp. Um, it's a pressed clasp, uh, but anyway, that's the standard uh, sumo bracelet. Um, and uh, looking at the case, we have a um, we have a screw down case back um, with uh, yeah, the typical information there, and our Seiko Sumo, uh, our Seiko uh, Tsunami Wave in the middle. Um, yeah, pins and collars for the bracelet adjustment. We have. Of course, the, uh, the micro adjust, we have a dive extension um, to meet the ISO standard of the time, I guess also the ISO um, 6425, is it? Yes. Um, and uh, there are pins and collars which are quite messy if you need to, uh, to adjust the watch, if you need to size it, but uh, they seem to be quite, uh, quite sturdy and reliable ones once they have been uh, adjusted. Yeah, I guess that um, that sums it up. Um, I guess the counterpart of this that many people like is the, uh, the Blue Coral uh, Seiko Sumo, which also has a beautiful uh, color uh, scheme, a blue-yellow uh, scheme. And uh, yeah, this is the green counterpart 
which, yeah, I think it's a beautiful watch, good thing to have in a collection if you like Seiko divers um, and uh, getting rarer, they're not that easy to find, but on the second hand market maybe still available. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Peace out.